Hi, it's Jonna here, the Preppy Crafty Girl, with a thrift store haul. I went to my local thrift store and came across these Denison vinyl stickers. I got quite a few packs for 29 cents, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, I'm probably going to put them in ephemera packs that I'm going to be making soon. I'm going to be putting some vintage ephemera packs together and I'm going to do some December daily books. I'm not going to put the book together but I'm going to sell the binder with all the ephemera and pages to make a December daily. These were some vinyl, blue vinyl index card dividers. I thought they were kind of cool. Uh, I think those were 29 or 49 cents. And I got these, I thought these were really interesting. It was for an address book that I guess flipped from the top. So I thought that was kind of cool. I'm, I think I'm just gonna keep them like that and do put rings through it or something and make maybe a quote or a scripture album. I found these Teresa Collins memories sticky notes for 29 cents and currently I am working on a project that I'm going to be doing a class on and I'm actually using some Teresa Collins. So I don't have those for 29 cents. It was like, hey. I found this really cool book by Avon. It was from, I believe, 1995. And I just love the illustrations in there. So every month has a different flower. Uh, they're all roses. So it was really cool to add to a junk journal. And then I found my Golden Singer sewing book that I had when I was in high school. I sewed all my, pretty much all of my own clothes. I mean, not jeans, of course, but when I was in high school. And this was the book I actually used. Uh, we had home mech, but we had home mech in middle school. So that's where we learned how to sew. But then this was all like the fine details of finishing your garment so it looked professional. This was the book I actually had and I couldn't believe I found it in a thrift store. So I think I paid $2 for hardbacks. It was pretty exciting. And I love going through, this actually was from 1972. I love going through the pictures and just seeing the different illustrations and crafts. Those were actually for to put on gift packages. They showed it and you pull the ribbon through and then you tie the ribbon in a bow. So I'm just having fun here scrolling through. Flooding, uh, memories are flooding back as I'm going through it, I actually made myself a pleated plaid skirt because preppies were in back when I was in high school and one of the things a preppy would wear was a plaid skirt. And so I actually made myself one and matched up the plaid, which was amazing. These are sign numbers. I found my birthday, 331, and uh, just picked those up thought they'd be fun to add in and then I found this Barbie comic book it actually has a wedding in it which I thought was kind of cool but I really love the sweet tart ad it says like this and uh, it was just fun reading through it and I loved looking at all the old like Nintendo and Game Gear and uh, they had a, a a few different ones. Sega, they had a few different uh, old gaming systems ad for advertisements. I thought that was kind of cool. So 
So I, I picked that up. I think I paid a buck for it. Honey, I blew up the cave. And uh, then I found a little golden book for prayers. This was from, originally it was from the 50s, but this is a reprint from 1974. And I just love the illustrations in this. They're so sweet. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use it or um, make a kit for someone to make their own. Then I found these really cool sheet music about polkas and that was really big when we were growing up. My mom still plays the uh, concertina. She plays the, um, she's still playing it. My brother bought her one. So it's just kind of cool. And uh, so I picked up some of these. They were like four for a dollar. Just the patina alone on those blank pages will be beautiful in a journal. So I picked up a few so I could share. So those will end up going in one of my journals that I'll be working on ephemera kit soon for sale. And if you want to see the things I have for sale, I will be listing them on Instagram. I don't have a shop. I do craft fairs. So I just, when I make stuff for a craft fair, then I throw it up on Instagram and let my Instagram followers have a chance to, to buy them. This is from the Knee High Bottling Company. And I don't know about you, but I drank Knee Highs when I was a kid. They came orange, grape, root beer. Oh my gosh, the best. So I found this like vintage uh, receipt book. So I thought that was kind of cool. I paid, I think I paid a dollar for it. This is a decoupage book. It's from 1997, so it's not that old. But because it was fairies and flowers, you know, I, I couldn't resist. I just thought it was kind of cool. So yeah, those images will end up going in the ephemera kits also. So pretty, great for decoupaging or collaging. So I found some vintage playing cards. These little blue girls are Hallmark. And I fought, found these uh, vintage ones that are of an old sail, an old ship. And I thought they'd be nice for a travel journal. And the little vintage girls, they must have been really well loved because the patina on these are very well worn. But then you can see the difference there. There were two jokers in the box that went untouched. So the original looked bright blue. And the other ones have a really nice patina. I can never pass up vintage playing cards. I have quite the collection. Then I found the Betty Crocker recipe box. And it was just chock full of recipe cards and these are just so much fun. I love the old vintage pictures and illustrations on the front. And uh, some of the recipes are pretty amazing. I actually am going to copy a few of them before those go into my junk journals that I'm going to be selling. But uh, I got the whole box it's from 1971 and it, I had the best time flipping through those. Then I got this needle craft kit. Uh, it has this old, all the old yarn and uh, it's interesting because it's different texture so but I just thought the color of this fabric was pretty amazing and even the sheet the instruction sheet it's like a big tree but I thought the instruction sheet was even cool made in the USA so I don't know what year or era that is from but uh, I, I couldn't pass it up I just I think the fabrics gonna be really cool to incorporate into some 
fabric collage. I found these two stamps. The uh, old roller stamp is kind of cool. It's not rubber. Well, I think there might be rubber on there. I can't really tell. Uh, but I bought it. I didn't even, I couldn't even tell what was on it. So I, they're Scotty dogs. They're little walking Scotty dogs. And then I got another one that said, praise the Lord. So I think that'll be cute to stamp in my scripture journaling. I love those old vintage wood handle stamps. It was probably a Sunday school teacher stamp. And I found some books. This was a start sewing book. And I love the colors. Look at those girls. Ah, I love the colors. It was probably like late 60s or 70s. I couldn't, uh, I didn't look at, see what date it was. But anyway, I couldn't pass that up. Really, really cute. Uh, this is kindergarten crafts. Come on. This is so much fun. Uh, they even have stamping with potatoes, which I used to do. Carve them and then you dip it in paint and then you stamp on paper. I used to do that all the time when, uh, when I was at home. They have all kinds of like paper crafts and bottle crafts. We used to do that where you take masking tape, you take strips of masking tape and you put it all over the bottle and then, uh, then you take brown paint and we would paint it. Uh, these are some old Denison stickers. They're for cassette tapes. I thought they were kind of cool because uh, they had the lines on them. Maybe you need to add in the journaling. Then I bought this, oh my goodness, it's probably like from 80s, 90s, I can't really tell. But it had cup sequins in it. It was 25 cents. And so I didn't really, was it 25 cents? I can't see. But uh, I won't use it for that, but I really just got it for the cupped sequins because they're hard to come by. Usually now they're flat. And so when you can find the cupped ones, they're, they're just a little more sparkly. And that was a lot of sequins for that price. I'm sure the glue is probably all gross, but uh, the sequins were worth it for shaker cards and such. Or I may just staple them and put them in with the Christmas December daily journals I'll be kits I'll be selling. I love those rainbow iron-on patches. They're so cool. This is Christopher Lowell pattern. Okay, so the reason why I got this was because my sister and I used to love Christopher Lowell, still do, and watch his show all the time. She bought me both his books, and so I'm going to make her a insert with that pattern, the cover and insert for her uh, traveler's notebook. Then I have some of these Avery name badge uh, stickers. Yeah, and this was at a thrift store. It was everything in the thrift store that I got uh, there was half off. So this was six ninety nine, and then I got a half off. So for three fifty, I got a whole uh, block ink kit. So you carve it, and then uh, it teaches you how to do ink block printing. So I'm gonna have to experiment and figure out what exactly I want to carve on that. But uh, we used to carve with linoleum back in the day when, when I was in art class. And uh, we always had fun doing that. So it didn't have the carving knives, but I have a set of carving knives. So it had the handle. I just need the little knives. And this was half off too. I think it was a buck fifty. So for 75 cents, I got all these already patinaed nicely patinaed uh, index cards and then all of the dividers and oh, three sticky notes in the back tossed in so yeah that was at that half off 
place. Then I bought a record album because I wanted to ship someone something and this was on the inside so I just loved it. This was a book I got from 1969 and it has all the animals of the world. So this was kind of fun going through it. Lemurs. I remember when my daughter wanted a lemur. She was probably around eight or nine. And that's all she talked about. Yeah, there's a, a sulfur crested cockatoo. Those are actually natural native to Australia. And we had them in our trees in our backyard. It was so cool to just get up in the morning and just see them out in your backyard. And parrots and it was just amazing. Then my score for these glass and mother of pearl uh, buttons. And I just bought, I bought all the whole cards they had. I just wish they didn't put those little stickers on them. I'm so upset. So now I'm going to have to get the undo out and sit and try to get the stickers off without ruining the antique button cards. But I love the girl on the pink one. She's so cute. From probably from the 1920s looking, 30s. And uh, so, yeah, but they put the sticker right over top of it. I have no idea why they would have done that. So I will be using undo and getting trying to get all the stickers off and they will end up going into my ephemera packs. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and please comment below and hit a thumbs up if you ended up liking my thrifting thrift store haul.